Insert a fancy clap here. What's going on, beautiful people? I am the Grandmaster, and I also go by Deaver, bringing you guys the next week of the APA, where today we take on the Q, the Costa Rican coach of the Chicago Dragon Pulse. A good player, good fun friend. Did I just speak English? That came out differently than I wanted it to. That was weird. A good friend, <laughs> a great player. Um, a very tough week. We're on a little bit, of, you know, spoilers. Three, two, one. We're on a little bit of a winning streak, trying to get ourselves back in the swing of things. Uh, long season, like I said in the beginning, we've been getting our ass kicked. Just in general, as we came back to Draft League, I just didn't know how to play Pokemon anymore. And I stopped making plays. Green is drink. Green is drink. Did you hear that? <laughs> the drink is green. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. If you're excited for today's Wi Fi battle, do me the massive favor and shadow claw that thumbs up button. And if you're new, por favor, hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications, hit the bell button to get notified every single time we post a new video. I don't know when I started singing that. Nor do I know why I sing that. But anyway, let's talk about the matchup and just get into the game. That's why you guys are here, not to listen to me babble. Uh, Q the Costa Ricans got a crazy team. Oh, I will note that this is the very last week that we have with this team, which I actually really like. I really like this team. If we're so happen, if we're so fortunate to um, make playoffs, I may consider doing this one. Uh, we're going to begin drafting pretty soon for our third and final team for the last quarter of the season. Uh, for those who don't know, the AP has a 12 long week season and every every four weeks we'll redraft a new team. And those who make playoffs will get to pick one of those three teams to take with them on their run. First team, definitely not bringing. Very bad juju. <laughs> this team, ah, you never know. I, I like it a lot. Good stuff. Semi, semi rain with Torn. I like Torn a lot. Torn's cool Pokemon. Mimikyu's on the team. Tsh, come on now. And we have uh, a lot of cool stuff. But Q the Costa Rican's team is on that side of the screen. He's got Zero Aura Hydreigon, Scizor Blacephalon. So you pronounce that Blacephalon. Uh, Raquinid Gardevoir, Doug Trio, Roserade Wigglytuff, Tornadus, and Delibird. Shout out to the Mirror Torn matchup. That's pretty cool. Um, some things to note about his team. We do have semi rain and spoilers. We're bringing it and he's got trace guard of war, which could be a big problem. We do have to keep in mind for that. Trapping Doug trio could be really annoying. He's got defog in the form of scissor and hydreigon and deli bird and torn. So good removal uh, rocks in the form of wiggly tough toxic spikes in uh, roserade and spikes as well. He's got rocks with um, Doug Trio as well. So not the best rockers, but not too crazy. He's got a rack window for Sticky Web, and I just had a blink. So let's just talk about the matchup, what we're gonna bring and why we're gonna bring it. So let's go ahead and flip me over as we do each and every week. Boop, put me over here. Boop. And first up we have is Mustachio, AKA Tornadus is showing up this week. Mustachio's got Hurricane Knockoff, Heat Wave, and U-Turn. Almost max HP, max speed, with 12 in special attack. Timid Nature, this is to outspeed, I believe, the Doug Trio by one point. We outspeed everything on his team naturally outside Zero Aura, but that's a Zero Aura, so almost no team, unless you have Excel or outspeeds Zero Aura, or Reggie Lucky, but gets walled by Zero. Um, Hurricane is there for a stab within our rain. You can see that Polytoad's coming. Knockoff is there to remove items. Heat Wave is there for the Scizor. It actually does, it Oko's obviously without rain, but in the rain, it's to a KO and it does more than Hurricane in the rain, which is kind of nuts. And then you turn for Pivot Momentum. Wakan Barriers to withstand a Plasma Fist or a Thunderbolt if you bring special, which we could anticipate him to bring to counteract the Seismitoad, um, but yeah, this is a pivot to be very annoying and knock off items. Next up we have his grandpa making his debut the final week that we have him. Grandpa the Ancient Fossil, Life Orb, Swift Swim, Four Attacks, Waterfall, Aqua Jet, Stone at Edge, and Leech Life are running Waterfall over Liquidation for the chance to flinch. Being completely honest, 
completely fucking honest. If you outspeed, might as well get the, fl the flinch chance, right? It's already super strong. It's just a five point power difference, not that much. So I'd rather get that chance to flinch because you never know. Could come in handy. <laughs> Aqua Jet's there uh, for priority. It bops the Doug Trio if we don't have any rain up, but it also is super effective just in case. And if you bring Scarf Zero Aura, it's nice to click that in the rain, which could be great. Uh, Stone Edge is there for our secondary stab. We have Stone Edge over Rock Slide because if he's max, max a defense Araquanid, uh, I have a better chance to Oko that Pokemon. And Leech Life is there for Hydreigon. Aside from that, the dual stabs do really well in rain here. Fresh Prince is showing up also with Swift Swing with the Rundleberry because of Grass Knot on uh, the Zero Aura. The very high possibility that he brings Scarf Zero. So at least we can live a Grass Knot and then kill it with Earthquake. We have a physical uh, Seismitoad because it has a higher attack stat than it has special attack stat by 10 points. And Earthquake is a higher base power than Earth Power too. And Liquidation as well versus Scald. Uh, liquidation on this Mon, Waterfall on Grandpa. So this Mon is weaker, so we run Liquidation. It matters. Uh, Ice Punch is there for the Hydreigon and the Roserade in case that wants to come, but Roserade is neutral to Earthquake, so something that's really cool about that. And Knock Off is to remove items, which is really pa really poggers. Oh, also, the Aqua Jet's really good for Blacephalon on Grandpa, by the way. This. So, Moist is coming to set the rain uh, with Damp Rock, Drizzle. Very classic set on a Politoed. Scald Toxic Encore Rest, Encore to stop any kind of setup, uh, namely the Scizor. And uh, rest is for longevity. Scald is there for stab in the rain, does lots and lots of damage. Uh, we're mixed defensive, but mostly spadef because there's a lot of special attackers. Pretty self explanatory. Uh, set up the rain. That's Polito's job. Zodiac showing up. Zodiac is our Gardevoir counter. We have Fire Punch there for Scizor. No, otherwise, like Sven and Jack said, uh, shout out to you guys. Uh, this set is set of fodder for Scizor. And as Jesse504 pointed out, and uh, die tight. I have a lot of really cool people in my front office. Um, <laughs> flex. Fire uh, to avoid being set up on. We have fire punch for scissor. Even in the rain, does crazy amounts of damage. Iron has for flinch stuff and for uh, for stab. Uh, wish protect because it keeps us healthy as well as protect to have scouting ability for the guard of war. Uh, Shadow Ball is for sure going to come on that Pokemon. So, protect is there to gain the lefties back to not get to it KO'd by it. He has to be specs modest. To, to it KOS or Specs Timid. Specs in general. I didn't do for Specs because obviously Specs are just to it KO regardless. So that's his job. Adi showing up the win con as always. Greatest Pokemon of all time. Mascot showing up, baby. We have Mimikyu with the Life Orb. Player off Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak, and Swords Dance. Best. You're going to see this Pokemon on the channel a lot. I love Mimikyu as my favorite Pokemon. And it's the mascot. Channel mascot, Snuggler's mascot, yada yada. Uh, so the idea is to get things in range for Sneak. We're adamant here because the speed tiers are kind of wonky. Uh, we have Player Off there primarily, only there for the Hydreigon. Everything else just takes Ghost Stab. Uh, Swords Dance late game would clean up the game. Pretty pretty cool stuff. Uh, yeah, just get everything in range for um, plus two adamant life orb. Shadow Sneak, win the game. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I need to recenter myself because apparently I'm all over the place. And let's have fun. I get nervous playing Q because he's a good player, but he's a good pal. And I'm very, very excited for it. If you guys are too, hit the thumbs up button and uh, pull up a chair, get your popcorn ready and hit the lights. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you scared? <laughs>
I got a notification. No, I got a notification that we had to play today at eight o'clock. No, eight o'clock in the morning. But it was for for now, right? I got the notification in the morning, and uh, I was like, "Oh shit! I haven't even built a team." <laughs> So I found some like little nooks and crannies in my day to build something sent it out to the front office And I said hey guys, what do you think they made a couple changes and now we're here So shout out to everyone in my front office without you guys I don't know where I would be and they did a lot because I sent off a team and it looks a little bit different than when I actually uh, sent it off to them so Shout out to you guys love every single one of you um, I have a lot of people in my front office I'm actually gonna go and shout them out now because I haven't done that and I need to do that more often uh, we have Kurt the Buzz, well, hasn't been around for quite some time, very, very busy guy. Uh, we have Jason Die Tight, Hayes L, It's Whatever, Mid Pokemaster, Owls with Hats, uh, Just Kurt, Howler, who's on hiatus, who's on a little bit of hiatus right now, but he's, he's getting his time. Jack, we have Jesse504, Lord, Lord XE, Lord, Lord Lordy, I can't remember how to pronounce his name, Lord, <laughs> Lord XIE, uh, Nathan401, and Mr. Sven tune i love every single one of you guys thank you so much for keeping me grounded and not letting me run stupid stuff one day we're gonna run stupid shit uh dope i'll be 151 good luck have fun good he didn't type it out good luck <laughs> have fun bro i live a little hard too all right so now we can remove the discord fire <laughs> Shout out to Matt O'Shea. Bro, Matt, I'm sorry, dude. I would not be surprised if it, like, goes backwards. Um, I hope it, like, returns. All that juju comes back and bites us this game. But here's the team. Uh, you guys will see the matchup. Is this the matchup for tomorrow for the UBL? Because of the way that this gets posted? I think it is. So there's the spoiler if you guys want to see that. You guys will find out more information about that tomorrow. I forgot there was boba in my drink. And it doesn't get caught by the green screen. That's pretty cool. Oh, I love boba. I recently discovered popping boba for like drinks. Oh, so good. So we unfortunately relinquished home field advantage. And we're going to play in the Dragon Stadium, as I think what Q has. Which still kind of matches the layout, for sure. Here we go. All right, guys. The team we're going to bring is up above our head. The team that we think Q is going to bring is up above the game screen. Here we go, here we go. Let me lower that down just a little bit. We got it right. 90%. He brought Torn. What didn't you bring? Gardevoir! Oh! Dun, dun, dun! I royally got fucked by Gardevoir. Uh, we do have to keep in mind for the Tailwind Tornadus, that could be something. He brought a fire fucking set. I'm not going to ruin the video, but last week's battle for Q the Costa Rican, watch, this, watch that game because that was a fire set, dude. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And I'm all here for fire sets. We love fire sets on this channel. So no Gardevoir. Instead, the Tornadus. And if I blew out your headphones by yelling like that, I'm sorry. It's just very surprising that the Gardevoir didn't show up. Uh, Trace Gardevoir was a big threat to the team that we brought, but maybe you just didn't think we're going to bring rain. Uh, Torn for sure, and Hurricane. He has accurate Hurricanes now, too. Uh, I could leave with our boy, Mustachio. We have the Wakanberry in case he wants to leave with the Zero Aura, and we can knock off its item. So I think I'm okay with that. Let's lock that in. Q likes to make his decisions fast and go, which is why I want to kind of be on his pace. But we said in the DMs, as you saw, good luck, have fun to Mr. Q the Costa Rican. I don't know why I say it like that, but Q is a great guy. Q has got, if there's like a top three sexiest voices in the YouTube community for Pokemon Wi-Fi Draft League, say that five times fast. Q is like number one or two in my book. Hi Dragon, what's up Hi Dragon? And we can find out if this is Choice Craft. This is very good. This is very good. Okay, I'm just going to click knockoff and get rid of whatever item he's got. I feel like that's incredibly important. So let's go ahead and click the knockoff button. We're going to lose a little bit of momentum if he wants to click U-turn, but that's perfectly fine. I kind of want to just remove the item. Mm, popping boba. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what he wants to do. Knockoff. He stays in. He's not Choice Scarf. What are you? Life Orb? What are you? Chopper Berry. Well, that's cool. Dark Pulse. How much damage does this do? 185 to 109 uh, da, 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 da. that did 141 points of damage 
40%, I should say, Hydreigen. Level 50. Alright, that's about it's about timid max attack. But like a little little bit of a min roll. So I think we're cool with just you turning out here. If he wants to switch, he can switch. We're gonna get some pivot momentum. Get some super effective damage off on this thing, which will be really nice. We're gonna generate all this damage off. Uh now, what do we want to switch in on this? Probably get up our rain with uh, Toad. How much damage do you do to Toad? Si uh, Poly Toad. Not a lot. So I'm cool with just bringing this in. Yeah, let's bring in Toad. Set up the rain. A quick look U turn himself to get momentum, but we get the rain up, which will be really nice. So let's see what he does. All we know is that he's got Dark Pulse, and I do want to actually write down his team to ensure that we don't get caught off guard with something. Draco Meteor. This is going to do... Actually, not that much. Like, how about half? Yeah. So, 100. And... Do we want to rest here? Meh. I could Encore him. I could rest. I could click Toxic. What are you bringing on this? What did you bring? Those guys. Uh, Toxic could come in here. I think the Rack Winner probably comes in, right? So I'm going to Toxic. Anticipating the Araquanid to come in, I'm sure he doesn't want to take an Ice Beam to the face, especially when his Hydra Dragon is this weak. So 100 down to 72 L, so about return, like timid damage. So let's Toxic. Uh, the only thing that he shouldn't bring in here is Scizor. But if he anticipates the Ice Beam, he could. He definitely could. So we could still... Yeah, there it is. There's the custom shiny sprite that we had for Raquinette a little bit back. Got the toxic off. Love to see that. And I could actually just rest here in front of this thing. So a Raquinid. I just want to calc if he's max attack. Adamant. So if he's like all the way offensive. And if the rain is up to Politoed, he does 52.2% max. We're at 72. This is if he's max attack adamant. He does kill. So, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to rest. I don't think he's offensive. I really, truly don't think he's that offensive. You could click Toxic. We're going to rest and we outspeed. Love to see that. We, duh, we outspeed. I don't know why I thought that we didn't. <laughs> Faster rack when did. Toxic. Cool. So, I could pivot here. I think I have, what, four turns left? Five or four turns? On the Araquanid, let's just pivot into Torn. Didn't burn any any turns, but we can just start clicking Hurricane. Maybe he thinks we have Sleep Talk. Sleep Talk would actually been pretty cool. Now that I think about it, liquidation. How much damage is this doing? Really? A lot. But this is 100% accurate here. These leftovers, so Araquinus should drop to a hurricane, so I think we're free to just click it. He's not the berry. Yeah, it's looking like we have a pretty solid chance if he's max HP, so I'm gonna click hurricane. It's a uh, risk free here, free damage, and we'll just regen the, the, the health back. 62 to 73%, and he's looking like he's at like 71. No, I mean like 76 ish. 76 ish. So we'll see what he wants to do here. I don't think he takes his hit, so I think he switches, which is why we're kind of playing a little bold here. Being a little bit more offensive. If he thinks that we're offensive, he dies, so I don't think he wants to lose. I don't think he, stays, he leaves the rack when it in here. Protect. So I think I'm just going to click U-turn this time. I do kill him now, guaranteed, after the toxic damage. But I think he's trying to waste the turns here, but he's just going to wear himself out just a little bit more. I think I just get this health back, right? I'm just going to I'm just gonna U-turn. Yeah, and I can just bring in Politoed again. It's a smarter play. I think he does switch here. I could kill this thing, but I think he, I think he, uh... Well, he could actually stay in. He's got Protect on the Iraq one. Let's write this down. See what it does. See what it does. 
<sighs> I reckon it's got Toxic Protect. Toxic Protect Liquidation. Stays in. Alright. So I think we just bring back in Politoed. How much damage does he do to Seismitoad? A lot. So we're just bringing back in Politoed. If the rain's not up, he doesn't do as much to, to Torrent too. But the fact that he stayed in there was pretty, pretty decent. Q likes to play pretty ballsy sometimes. He knows that too. But I think we're cool just staying in and burning these turns here. This thing's gonna die to Toxic, so I think that he just doesn't do this for very often. For very long, I should say. But it looks like he dies to Toxic next turn. Uh, let's check to see how many more turns of rain we have. It's looking like, so we have two. So, I'm gonna click... Well, I have to burn my sleep, my sleep turns here, so... Let's see what he does. Push for liquidation again. I think he dies on this turn actually. Which is cool. I'll get the defense drop, so now I can't stay in here, which is unfortunate. But he should die, actually. He does. So Politoed gets the first kill. And we can rest up on the um Possibly the Torn. Possibly the Torn. Polyto kills Araquanid. <laughs> Sizzle, what's up, dude? Alright, so to avoid getting swept by this Pokemon, what we're gonna do is. If he tries to set up here, what's the best course of action? We bring in Zodiac. Yeah, let's bring in Zodiac hard. Because the Gardevoir is not here. So that's what the main purpose that, that uh, Jirachi had here. If he clicks knockoff, good play. U turn? Okay. Wow, that was a crit. Whoa, it's not a crit. That's banded. That's banded. 128. Yeah, that did 8. 38 points of damage. Scizor being banded is actually not as, um... Plus 1. It did 38 points of damage. Knock off U-turn. I have to type in all this calc, man. Could you just have a set ready, like, for us to go? Uh, U-turn. Yeah. 130 points. Yeah, that's banded. That's banded damage. And unfortunately, now this thing's in. So now, I think we just have to Iron Head. I'm gonna protect, just in case, to see what he does. He can set a Brox if he wants to. But let's see if we can get ourselves out of range. Yeah, the Dougie being here is really annoying. If the Dougie's Jolly, we're at 152, 73%. If we get a low roll and he's Jolly, we can live this. But, Jirachi is here for Gardevoir and Gardevoir didn't come. It would still have been nice for the Torn, but here we are. We can get a low roll and Jolly, we can live this hit. We don't. Okay, so he takes out Jirachi. The Doug, the Doug Trio definitely was something that we were worried about and I kind of was gonna run Shed Shell, but the thing is that I couldn't because of the rolls that the Gardevoir had, but that didn't come, so here we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in, I think, the Fresh Prince, right? Yeah, let's bring in this. Let's bring in this. And I'm going to click Ice Punch because it doesn't let the, uh, it doesn't let the, the Hydreigon in for free. And it does crazy damage to this.
Yeah, Duck Trio was was a big a big like eye opener in prep, and I knew it was going to be annoying to deal with. So I want to get up hazards. Did we bring rocks here on this on this build? I don't think we did. So it doesn't die, but it does crazy damage. Um, I do need this for the Zero Aura, unfortunately, so I do have to switch here. Do I have eight turns to really put in the work here? Eight turns to put in the work, right? So... I want to break and then bring in Mimikyu, right? So, if I can bring in Moist here and give myself eight turns to really put in the, the, the work here, I think we'll be okay, because I'll die on entry, which gives us seven. So let's see if we can break his team with our rain core here now. I think that's just the best course of action here. We're gonna get the drizzle up, we're gonna get another eight turns. I think we may actually be able to live this hit. Oh, Politoed, you fucking legend, dude. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and switch here and I'm gonna bring in Torn. I live a Dark Pulse. I don't think he clicks Draco. Dark Pulse, we live this. And then now we could click knockoff for free. I should kill, right? If you have no item. Let's just count this one thing because this makes me kind of nervous. I mean, guaranteed outspeed. This thing doesn't get sucker punch. Knockoff does 7 to 8%. Ugh, that's close. I don't think that's worth it. Uh, I could switch to get my health back and some switch momentum in case he wants to switch, but I don't think that he does. So I think that U turn is just my safest play. Because he could just bring in the, the Zero Aura next play, so we don't want to leave Torn in there. So we're going to kill the Hydreigon with Tornadus. Love to see that. So Torn. T kills Hydra. And I'm going to bring in the Fresh Prince now. No, I'm not. I'm going to bring in Grandpa. And I'm gonna get high, I'm gonna get a uh, the mons off the layout. Sorry, guys. So let's see what he does. If he brings in Dugtrio, he's probably uh, Sash, which is unfortunate, but you know it is what it is. And if he's Sash, we'll just revenge him with uh, Torn next play. We should be out of range of Sucker Punch. But the fact that uh, well, he could do also set up rocks. He could do that. Now, this should die if he's not sashed to an Aqua Jet, because we're in the rain. So I'm just not going to think much about it, and I'm just going to click Aqua Jet. And we're trapped in here with him, so there's nothing much we can do for that, but this is a good bring. Shout out to Jesse504, because I wasn't going to bring Kabutops at first. He's Focus Sash. That's fine. So Dougie gets two kills, which is unfortunate. Unless he sets up rocks, he goes for Earthquake. Okay. Now, it might have ranged for Sucker Punch on Torn. If he's jolly with sucker. Uh, it's looking like it does 25.9% max and Torn is at 81 health. Yeah. So let's bring in Mustachio and then let's U-turn and get more health back. Because the Wakanberry can still put in the finest. So we do live a uh, Sucker Punch from this range. If he's adamant, also still lives a Sucker Punch. So let's go ahead and just click the U-turn button. And Torn's going to get another kill. Dougie gets two, which is unfortunate. Dougie kills uh, Jirachi. And Dougie kills uh, Kabutops. We still have... We still have Seismato to help break the team. We kind of... We knew that this was going to happen. I knew that the Dutro was going to come, so I should have brought the shed shell on Jirachi, but again, we're just so afraid of the Gardevoir. I think it just wasn't possible. Torn T kills Dougie. Start taking these mons off the layout. We still have more turns of rain. You'd love to see that. So I'm going to bring the Fresh Prince in. Start to bring his, break down his team just a little bit more. 
The Hydreigon is also gone, so we have three mons left to take care of. We have lost Kabutops, unfortunately. We still have Politoed around for a sack in case we need it. Mimikyu looks like he can win the game as long as we can get some chip. The fact that the Scizor is, is uh, banded. Is interesting. How do I get out of range of that? With Torn. Torn's got a lot on his shoulders here. Scizor. Offensive ban is what for sure Mr. Jesse504. Shout out to Jesse504. Subscribe to Jesse504. Was talking about. Uh, bullet punch, adamant. Not life orbed. He's taking a little bit to think about this. Hope he didn't disconnect, that'd be unfortunate. It does 65.4% max to Torn if he's adamant banded, which is what we think he is. What's up, brother? I need the damage for Mimikyu on this. So, do I lose to Zera? Not with the Wakan Berry. Mimikyu could win this game. Mimikyu is the end game. Mimikyu is the end game here now. If the rain is up, rain just simply does the most. So let's click the liquidation button. So now, now we're looking good with Mimikyu here. Defense drop, love to see that. Knockoff could come up here, U-turn. Okay, this is gonna do a bunch. Yeah, this banded. Two eleven minus one twenty four, math, boys and girls, math. Come on, computer. Two eleven minus one twenty four. You two, why sand tune part of the set for Scizor? We win the time game. We are. Yeah. Could be jolly band. Could be jolly band. Torn. Do I just ice punch? I need damage from Mimikyu. If he lets, if he gives me damage from Mimikyu, we're in a good spot here. Perfect. Hurricane, 100% accurate here. No confusion, you love to see that. Uh, I think Liquidation is the best here now. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What does their aura get? Like, does it get like quick attack? Let's liquidation again. Kills the torn. Shout out to Seismic Toad. And I could just keep this around for for uh, Zero aura unless he's scarfed. And if he's scarfed, we can see what he, he locks into. Size. Toad kills. Seismic Toad kills Torn. Natus. Mm, Mimikyu's plus two shadow. I have to shadow claw him twice, actually. I have to shadow claw him twice. You could think I just sacked this. So I'm gonna bring a mustachio on the grass on the on the grass knot. Or he doesn't he doesn't there's no way he clicks electric move here. I would be very surprised if he bring if he hits that. And if he does, it would just bring in Politoed. Yeah. We're at 118. Can we live a can we live a Thunderbolt? 118. We got some time. Uh torn. 118. Alright, let's just say he's uh Zara special. Let's give him max special attack. With the timid nature, how much damage does a thunderbolt do? At level 50, how much time do we have? Very important count, 35 seconds. It's a two hit KO. I think we're Gucci. I think we click knockoff to get rid of his item. We're gonna live whatever electric type move he goes for here. Oh, that's a good, that's a good play. That's a really good play. 
Okay. Does that change things? I don't think so. I don't think so, because I think that Seismitoad is out of range of a bullet punch. Especially now, because we got rid of his choice band. Leftovers. I'm not calculating something right. Something's off. I gotta talk to the guys about that one. Um, so... Huh. Do I just sack this off here? I think I do. So I'm gonna try to U-turn. Yeah, I don't need this anymore. I no longer I no longer need Torn. But he dies to Shadow Sneak. And Zero Aura dies to Shadow Claw plus Shadow Sneak. So if he kills me here, this actually may be better. He didn't bullet punch, he probably swords danced. Alright. So, if he swords dances, or if he U-turns here, oof, this is a tough play. This is a very, very tough play. That was a good play on his part. Uh, I'm going to bring in this. Eight turns for two Pokemon. Torn's gone. He stayed in here, so he let the, the Torn live. Can be used as a sack. Let's think this out here. Rain is up, eight turns. Still had my damp rock. Roost. Okay. I'm going to scald here. I believe I wake up? It wasn't counting turns. I should have counted the turns. I think I wake up here. But I have eight turns for two Pokemon to take care of. I think he has to kill me here. He actually dies to a hurricane, which is good. From Torn. He's leftovers. So he's adamant mass attack leftovers? I don't know if I'm doing that calc stuff right, because I know I got the confusion done with the guard of worm have to talk about that. He's gotta be invested though. But if he's leftovers. Hmm. Puzzling times, guys. Well he's thinking about his play here now. You turn. Okay. Kills off Politoed. Brings in Zero Aura. Uh, we bring in. I don't know if the Zera is Choice Scarf yet. Regardless, I think my play is to bring in this. Is he Scarf Zera? I can scout for that. And I, can't, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. I don't think I lose anything for it. I think I'm a, I'm a scout to see if he's Scarf Zera. I think he brings Scarf Zera Aura to counter this exact scenario. This could be throwing the game, but I feel like this is worth it. And I feel like as though we have enough turns to pull this off with Toad if we can get rid of this. So we're going to pull the double into Tornadus, expecting him to go for the Grass Knot. I don't think that he anticipates me doing this. Grass Knot, he's scarfed. Alright, so I think we got him. Because now we can just click Hurricane and put this thing in range of Mimikyu. Alright, so Zero Aura takes 25-29% to 29 actually, so I think that I click... No, he can't stay in here, so I have to click. Heat wave in the rain. Doesn't do much to Zera, so I have to click Hurricane. I just simply have to click Hurricane. I think that this thing, he's now Scarf. Okay, okay, that's good information to have. That's really, really good information to have. So now we know he's not Scarf, so we do outspeed with Toad. Unless he's timid max speed. I think that that was rough. Hmm. 
Hmm. We're at 45 health. The bullet punch does not kill me. Well, we're here now, right? So I just have to click the liquidation button. A lot of mind games here, but I think that... Mm, I don't think I regret that play. It's going to be interesting. He's going to bullet punch here. Let's see. What does he do here? I don't think he can give me this, right? Yeah, so he's not out of my stack. Whew! Okay, so I just I just count that wrong in general. So now I think Mimikyu wins the game. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I'm just maneuvering this calc wrong. And it didn't come to bite us here, which is good. <sighs> Let's see here. Yeah, two Shadow Claws should put him away. I think I do have to play rough, though. We'll see. Well, if he's max, if he's max speed, then he outspeeds me here because I didn't outspeed a max speed Zera. I didn't. Cool. All right, we didn't have to get to that point. <laughs> There's a couple of different scenarios that could have happened here. Uh, oh, he didn't. Oh, a defense drop. So now Mimikyu for sure wins. Pops our window. He's bulky. He's a bulky boy. Liquidation in the rain. He has some chunk to him. All right, you love to see that, guys. You love to see that. Okay, so we already have the kills and such. No need to guess who's gonna clean up the game here. <laughs> guess who's gonna clean up the game here? Always to just clear Shadow Claw. Just have to clear Shadow Claw. That's all we gotta do. That's fifty-two percent man. Uh, we have our disguise. And if it doesn't, we can just Shadow Sneak at the end of that. So we're going to Shadow Claw. We have our Disguise. Mimikyu cleans the game. Uh, GG's to Q the Costa Rican. Uh, we have put together just a little bit of a, of a comeback here, which is great. Uh, this is our third win in a row for the APA. We're crawling ourselves back to get into playoffs after such an unfortunate start to the season. Uh, a lot of mind games this matchup. I think this is the first time in a while we've beaten Q. <laughs> so that's an accomplishment within itself. So uh, yeah, good stuff. Oh, what a roller coaster of a matchup. What a roller coaster of a matchup. I love playing Q, such a good human being. Again, one of the sexiest voices ever, and he's so fucking funny. Please do me a massive favor. Down in the description below will be a link to his YouTube channel. Go down there, watch us out of the battle. Tell him that we sent you. Leave a comment down below. Leave a comment on his video. Tell him that we sent you. I don't even know my own damn catchphrases. I'm tired. And I'm like on caffeine. And I'm tired. So, deadly combination. Gotta go do some stuff. Um, so this is uh stacking up wins, guys. Hopefully the good juju lasts. And we can crawl ourselves back into playoffs and uh see what we can do from there. But this team, I like this team a lot. This team is mad fuego. <laughs> I like this team a lot, a lot, a lot. So uh, let's see how far we can get it going. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. I'm going to get the heck up out of here because I'm blabbering all over the place. Have a great rest of your night and above all else, <laughs> be nice. Peace.